Hey everybody, Matt Cutler from Block Native here. Excited to give you an introduction to the new user interface that we recently added to our Mempool Explorer product line. You can see it right here. You can get to this on your own by going to explorer.blocknative.com or just clicking through from our homepage. Um, we have been building a Mempool Explorer for a while now, and we've been adding capabilities to it left and right. And um, we recently added a whole bunch of new stuff that we're really excited to share with you, and I wanted to give you this walkthrough right now. Now, Mempool Explorer is uh, an environment for creating real-time subscriptions for Mempool data streams, make it very easy for anyone in the Ethereum ecosystem to work with Mempool data, and to make this data both transparent and composable for builders and traders alike. Now, when you go to explorer.blocknative.com, this is the default view that you will see. On the left is where you create your subscriptions, and on the right is where you'll get results. But here in this default view, we actually provide a bunch of sort of easy getting started um, elements here to make it easier to, to get going. These live examples are super powerful. With one click, you can watch your own wallet. So if you click right here, it asks you to connect to your favorite wallet of choice, of course, using Block Native's own onboard JS library. And you can click, click through, provide some authorization and basically start monitoring your hot wallet in real-time transactions right away. It's super powerful. Um, or if you just want to get some data and see what's going on here, you could click here to watch the top stablecoin transactions over $5,000 involving a few stablecoins or watch some top DEXs for pending transactions. Now, just to sort of get this out of the way, we're on Ethereum mainnet with zero events. If I click right here, watch now, you can see some sub subscriptions over here on the left side. We're looking at Uniswap V2, SushiSwap, Curve Finance and Balancer, and you can see the fire hose firing through here. These are real-time mempool events coming off of our platform and API. It will um, stop at 50 events, so you don't blow up your browser, you don't blow up our infrastructure, um, but you can see really easily, click get some results and start to see um, some data streaming in. Now to get back to where we were before, there's a button right here in the center called Reset Explorer. If I click that, resets everything, back to where we started, super easy. Now, below these live examples are a series of screencasts. These do powerful things like step you through how to use our custom ABI functionality where you can upload a contract's ABI and decode it on the fly and then filter on those things, which is really cool. Um, and also composability via webhooks so you can take data that you're getting off of our API and basically push it to your own in infrastructure systems, whether you're building something new or whether you're doing trading on that. And so that's all available right here, and I very much encourage you to, to look through those. But on top of all of that, there's even more functionality that's here. So first off, you'll notice that it says log in or sign up. Now, what we're doing here is we're using Mempool Explorer anonymously. You can do so. You can actually use it for free. But many of the powerful fun uh, capabilities are, are made uh, accessible once you sign up and then move into a commercial plan as well. Now, I happen to ha be logged in uh, right here. You can see now I'm logged in. I have an account. There's documentation. There's upgrades. We can view pricing and things like that. But specifically, once you're logged in, you'll have access to this little widget right here, which is what we call our gas platform. I'm gonna do another video that explains what gas platform is, but this is real-time gas prices based on the current contents of the mempool. You can click on this gear and actually see some of the things that are in there. It's really quite useful and quite powerful, and we'll talk about that later. Now, just to walk through the rest of this interface, um, uh, if you want to get support, I strongly recommend joining our Discord community with one click right here. You can go in and, and join our Discord community. It's a vibrant place with uh, a lot of different forums for you to ask questions or make suggestions. Also, if you create something that you think is useful, so, hey, let's watch the top stable coins for transactions greater than $5,000. You wanna share that with your team? You can just click this right here, share. You'll see a little pop-up right here. A shareable link has been copied to your clipboard. You can email or message that around. It's a little tiny URL like that. Enter that in, and when you do so, it's really nice. All of the exact same configuration, the names, the filters, the addresses you're subscribing to will show up, makes it very easy for you to pass that along to members of your team. And then if you're looking at these payloads and you're saying, hey, look, there's something really valuable here I want to pass along to somebody, you can hit copy and we'll take the contents of uh, the feed over here, copy it to the clipboard in plain text format, just paste that into your favorite text editor, save it as a JSON file, and then you can share that around. Now, finally, you'll notice that the data is streaming by here quite quickly. I can pause by clicking this little button right here. I can pause the feed and stop it right there. Or if it's going and I want to actually stop the auto scroll, I can click right there. And now the data is still streaming in. 
but it's not zooming by and it's not quite so jumpy because obviously for these transactions, a lot coming in. Now, just in general, Mempool Explorer will collect 50 events for whatever set of subscriptions you have over here, and then it will go red here and disconnect. If you wanted to get another 50 events, um, all you gotta do is hit the play button, and again, it'll restart. Now, each one of these controls over here, these are individual subscriptions. I can actually turn them on and off. So here, instead of looking at USDC and DAI, I've clicked those off, and now I'm just looking at Tether. Um, I can create filters specific to the subscription, so I could filter Tether independently from USDC, um, or I can do global filters. So up here, if I do a global filter, it will affect everything that comes in, not just Tether. Um, and then there's also this notion of selects. So what selects do is basically just um, reduce down the payload sizes. So if all you wanted to do was look at, um, let's just say the status here, um, add that, then you can see for Tether transactions, all we're seeing now is status. So it's really quite flexible, really quite powerful. There are other things you can do uh, with this, which we'll cover in additional videos, but I wanted to, to just shoot this one pretty quickly to sort of walk you through what's going on here because it really is uh, quite capable and quite powerful. Um, we do invite you to, to check it out and we do invite you to give us feedback. And again, that was a quick overview of our new visual interface for our Mempool Explorer product line available at explorer.blocknative.com. And uh, Looking forward to what you do with it. Thanks so much.